you are here because you want to learn how to use Acro correctly, how to set up the console and open it in-game, and how to display the Acro range in a demo mode. Let's get started. Let's set up the console. In order to use the console, you want to go to your Steam page, Library, Dota 2, right-click, Properties, General. Under this tab, you can find the launch options. I linked the following launch options for you. You can find them down below in the description. The first two are helping you to enable the console and to set up a hotkey in order to open the console in-game. No bit just means that the intro that you're usually seeing when you start Dota is not playing anymore. I sets Dota 2 when you play it as the highest priority for your hardware. Map Dota loads the map of Dota 2 before you get in-game. This might be especially helpful for low-end systems. When we open Dota now, the video gets skipped and we can jump right into the hotkey settings and determine a hotkey to open the console. We want to go to the settings. Then in the hotkey tab, we are moving to advanced hotkeys. And then we have a button for the console here. I personally prefer the insert. Now let's jump into the demo mode and we are going to open the console with the hotkey that we've been setting. Now we enter the following command, Dota range display 500. We get out of the console and we hop into the game. And what you find is that the range of 500 is going to display around your hero. Dota acro range is 500 for melee creeps, 600 for range creeps and 800 for catapults. Now, if you have watched my previous video on the attack move, then you will be familiar with my settings. You will have equipped a button that enables you to attack enemy heroes. And then we can finally start with the aggro. You draw aggro by being in the range of 500 to the enemy melee creeps and then pressing a attack command on a enemy hero. So if I press attack command right now on Aix, nothing happens. But as soon as I get into the aggro range, you can see that both of the creeps are walking towards me. This is what we call aggro in Dota 2. Now we can use this mechanic to manipulate creeps. Our goal on the laning stage is to get as many creeps as we can and to deny as much as we can. So if the enemy creeps are falling low and they are getting contested, we're going to draw aggro to get them closer to us. This stops the enemy from hitting the creep and we can secure the last hit. Also, we can bring the creeps towards the enemy range creep and as you can see it's falling low and then we can deny it later on into the game. Using this display tool is a nice way to learn how to control the aggro very precisely. For example, you can draw a certain amount of creeps, and not all, in order to position the lane in a different way. Sadly, it's not possible to use the display range in in-game. The thing I see people struggle the most when they try to draw echo is that they are not aware of the range and they cannot identify exactly where they need to be positioned in order to draw the creeps. And the next thing is that the creep echo actually has a cooldown. The aggro mechanic has a cooldown of 3 seconds, so if we use aggro on the creeps and then immediately use it again, the creeps will not aggro again. It takes 3 seconds for the creeps to set up the new aggro. This allows for a very interesting mechanic. If we use aggro on the creeps and we are outside the aggro range, then the creeps will not aggro us and then it goes to a 3 second cooldown. So for the next 3 seconds, all the creeps on the Dota map will not aggro us. We can abuse it in the following way. If we step towards the creep wave and we press aggro before we enter into the creeped area, and then we attack the enemy hero, we do not draw aggro for 3 seconds. This is how that looks like. So we're drawing aggro. We're stepping into the creep range and we are attacking the eggs and the creeps did not care for two hits and then they attacked. Being able to abuse this mechanic can give you an advantage in the laning stage. 
Alright guys, now you know how to set up the console in order to train with the display range on the acro. You know that the creep acro range is 500 and you know that it has a cooldown. This is all we need to get started and look for a laning stage guide that's going to come up where you see exactly how pro players abuse acro in order to get a ton of last hits in the laning stage. We will be looking at all the mechanics a carry player needs to know, at all the things a support player needs to know in a separate video. I hope you stay tuned, I hope you're looking forward to the content as well, and see you in the next one!